Hi folks, thanks a lot for tuning in to the Goalie Llamas channel. I really appreciate it when you hit that like button and when you hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out a lot. And if you like what you see, like and subscribe to my channel. And if you really don't like what I'm doing, don't worry about it. Hi folks, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I am taking advantage of a full-on sun uh, situation here on the Space Coast for now. It's supposed to cloud up later. It's super hot though, and uh, the panels are not crazy about the heat, but um, so I'm not going to get optimum output from these four 200 watt panels I have hooked up. I'll show you that in a minute, how I got them hooked up. Battery banks here, the E600 LFP and the E2000 LFP, which is connected to the EB3000 extension battery. Um, let's take a closer look at what I'm getting for wattage and what happens if I unplug the cables. So what I'm going to do here is demonstrate um, the different output on the panels. This is connected to two solar panels. This particular one here plugged into the E600 LFP it's pulling 270 watts. Now the maximum wattage of input for this unit is 300 watts, but I know that if I hook two 200 watt panels together, um, that on a day like this, it's not going to get any clo anywhere close to 300. Right now, as you can see, it's getting 258. 266. The lower one is the E2000 LFP hooked up to the extension battery. It is hooked up to also two 200 watt uh, Pecron panels. And right now that's pulling 223 watts. So let me switch plugs and see what happens. I'll pull that one. You got nothing. I'll pull this one here and plug it in to the E2000 LFP. I hit the table so the camera shook. And as you can see, it's starting to register the wattage. And it's coming up rather nicely. So I'm getting the same wattage out of this particular set of panels as I am out of more or less, I mean within a range, as I am out of the other two. These are my, this is hooked into my newer panels. They're the waterproof ones that Petron has on site right now. Here are the older panels that I've had for a couple of years <clears throat> and they still work pretty good and this E600 LFP takes a couple of minutes to uh, for the inverter to kick in and start pulling wattage out of the panels. So slowly but surely protecting the battery by pulling the wattage in at this rate. Uh, remember on the E600 LFP there is a 300 watt limit and I have two 200 watt panels that can theoretically pull 400 watts. 
Um, ideal conditions are 65 to 75 degrees in full sun. And today, right now, on the Space Coast, it's 90 and feels like 100. So at this point in time, those two panels are pulling 238. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to fully charge this battery and I'm going to plug the other set into into the uh, E2000 LFP and let that continue to charge for a period of time. When this one is done in less than an hour I'll take this cable and I'll plug it into there. Okay, now for the setup inside and outside. So the inside setup. Two sets connected through an extension cable, 10 foot extension cable that I have right here which is also connected through two of these flat cables recommended to me by a good friend on the YouTube channel. Check these flat cables out. The beauty of these is I can close the windows. And on the other side, the panels are joined to add up to 400 potential watts. Now the outside. All right, so what I got here, I'm gonna walk around the corner. My security detail right there. And I'm gonna show you my solar setup and a little bit of my front garden. It's a nice little spot I got here. Perfect for me. Simple and easy. So here's the setup. These initial two panels are the newer 200 watt panels from Pecron and they are waterproof. I believe they're IPv67. The next set are the older Aurora 200 panels which still work great. And in windy conditions, I tend to use these heavier panels. For camping, I bring the lighter panels. So I pop my screen. And as you can see, I got these two panels connected. I mean, the sun's perfect right now. I have these two panels connected to the flat cables right here. And they're connected to themselves. And then the other side of each, red and black. Why complicate it with positive and negative into the MPV connectors. And then the same on the other side. So I've explained indoors what's happening indoors. And I thank the sun today for providing me power for my camping trips and emergency preparedness power. Man, it's hot out here. A Goli Lama could fry in this sun, but I love it. It's not humid. So there you have it. Today's solar setup. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Any little bit helps a small channel like mine. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.
Peace.